Poor sloping issues are frequently reported by home inspectors. This almost always raises questions in the minds of the buyer and the seller. Questions that must be resolved before the transaction can move forward. To be a successful agent, you need to know how to manage this type of situation. You need to know where to turn to get unbiased, independent, knowledgeable answers that the buyer and the seller will both accept. I made a second opinion foundation assessment last week due to a reported floor sloping issue. I do at least one of these every week. This inspection had a couple of interesting twists that I think you will find interesting. The home inspector had reported the foundation as deficient. The report found floor slopes ranging from a quarter of an inch to a half inch over four feet. The floor slopes were reported as deficiencies. The buyer was, re was told to refer the foundation to a licensed structural engineer or a qualified foundation repair contractor for further evaluation and possible repairs. After reading the report, the seller's agent sent an email to the seller. It included these words, quote, There seems to be a foundation issue. I just talked with a realtor who has lots more experience than I do. We operate as a team in this office, of which I am most grateful. She explained that over a four-foot span, there should only be a quarter-inch slant at most. If it is more than that at any point, it is indicative of foundation problems. I feel the smart money would be to repair the foundation or at least schedule the, the repair." Unquote. It is important to note that no drywall cracks, no floor tile cracks, no door issues, and no brick veneer cracks were reported. There were no foundation-related deficiencies of any kind reported with the exception of floor slopes. If you have never had to manage a situation like this, you almost certainly will in the future. Here is my take on it. First, the home inspector should not be recommending that the buyer consult with a foundation repair contractor. I'm sure the home inspector meant well, but the buyer has no authority under the standard sales contract to bring a foundation repair contractor to the house to make an inspection. Home inspectors should not encourage home buyers to violate the sales contract. Second, foundation repair contractors are not independent or unbiased. Many are knowledgeable, but many are not. Third, the floor slopes reported are within published American Concrete Institute construction tolerances for slab on ground foundations. The realtor who the selling agent consulted with simply does not know what she or he is talking about. A quarter inch elevation difference over four feet is not excessive or unusual. It is not indicative of a foundation problem. Fourth, the fact that there was no visible distress in the walls, the floor tile, or the brick veneer indicates that there had been little or no bending in the foundation. This is true regardless of any foundation measurements. The bottom line is that if a buyer is concerned about sloping floors, they should be encouraged to consult with a licensed professional engineer. An experienced professional engineer can resolve this issue by providing an unbiased, independent opinion as to any need for repair. I hope you found this week's topic to be of interest and of some value to you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. The advantage of subscribing is that every time I upload a new video, you will be informed by email by, from YouTube. If you know of any other real estate agents who could benefit from my YouTube channel, please send them a link. In the meantime, I hope you have a, have a profitable week, and I'll try to have a new video out next week.